Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, let's go to shape layers and hold this icon, select ellipse tool and let's hold shift make one ellipse tool like this. And glissation tool, go to stroke, change stroke with zero and select this build 2, 3, 1, right mouse and pre-compose, add name buildings and click OK. And select these buildings, let's move to up to shape layer, select shape, change name, circle. And select circle, let's control D for duplicate, select building and drag into the two circle layers. And click toggle switch modes, go to none, select alpha matte circle 2. So select buildings, let's press S, open scale and change scales like this. And let's move to down like this. So. In this time select this pin, let's press S, change scale like this and click toggle switch modes, let's zoom in here, as you can see this is a very bad quality vector but we can fix it, select pin layer and click this icon for fix it. So in this time let's go to pen behind icon, move the anchor point down, click tool and press S and let's move the center like this. For now, select this circle and buildings. Let's hide. And select circle. Enable title action save. And move the center like this. So, in this time, let's go to window. Open animation composite 3. If you have not animation composite 3, I will add link on the description below. Open starter presets and transition to the layer select pin and use overshot scale from anchor point click in select mark move to right for slow animation let's see okay that's good select animation comes a window and let's move to right for now and let's go to layer new and null object so i will use this null object for fake camera movements let's change name camera and for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click pen behind icon for move to anchor point center, glissation tool and move up. So right now select this pin, let's link to null object, select null and select circle, let's enable, building enable, select building, link to camera and select circle link to camera and circle to link to circle layer select camera let's see okay and right now let's select building let's link to circle and let's try again okay and select circle press s change scale like this let's move to here change scale more okay or let's 17 or 16 and put here you can change this 17 so in this time let's select this camera and after scale animation let's press s and create new scale keyframe hold shape press p and create passing keyframes and go to 5 seconds and scale it like this and move to center and scale more okay let's see and select keyframes make it easy go to graph editor select graph make smooth animation and back to keyframes and right now select this building and circle and press t open opacity and change opacity zero and create opacity keyframe and go to here change opacity 100 and make it easy let's see okay that's good and in this time select this scale and change scale like this and move to center for full screen okay let's see and right now select this pin, let's press S 
and create scale chip frame, move to the left and go to here, change scale like this. Let's see. Okay, let's move to right these cube frames and let's go to back, select this background and use fill. Let's select fill, use for background, change color to white. And let's see. Nice. And select pin, let's go to edit, split layer, delete. Okay, and change scale more like this. So, in this time, let's add here text. Go to text and write time to rest or time to wheel. Okay, classification tool and let's use color purple and change font size. Okay, let's edit this text, select this tool, go to use this green color and this text use red classification tool and back to animation comes as three let's use text layer anime characters and overshot effect or this overshot let's click in and select mark move to right for slow animation and move to right let's see okay very good in this time let's select this text link to null object and select this null and let's go to here let's create new parts in two frame and go to five two frames and move up like this let's see select work area okay select two frames go to graph editor and select this graph make smooth animation Okay, very nice. And back to two frames. Let's enable passport and fingers, phone, hand, plant, plant one, and clouds. Select these all of them layers. Let's right mouse and pre compose. Add name scene two. And let's move up here and link to camera. Let's move to right. Let's see. Okay, let's move right here. And right now, let's open Conversation 2 and select this passport layer. And back to Animation Conversation 3, let's use Effects to the layer and Cajun Rotate. Click Apply and change Intensity to 25. Let's see. Okay, and this, let's select this Plan 2. Move the anchor point down and plant one. Move the anchor point here. Classification tool. And also, let's add expression for loop animations. Select plant one, press R, open rotation, and hold Alt, click this time icon. Right here, wiggle 1.6. Okay, or let's edit and write here 8. And copy expression with Ctrl C and select plan 2, press R, hold Alt, click rotation, Ctrl V for paste expression. Nice, and back to here, let's see. And we can select these plants and move to down. Let's select this scene 2, let's move to down like this. Okay, so let's open scene 2 and select this hand layer, go to solo, move the anchor point down, classification 2 and unsolo, select phone, link to hand layer, select finger, link to hand layer and let's go to solo for finger, move the anchor point down, classification 2 and unsolo. And go to first second, press R, create rotation two frame, and go to 10 two frames, chain rotation, again 10 two frame, chain rotation like this, again for random two frames, and make it easy. Let's see. Okay, let's hold Alt, move to right two frames, and copy past for slowly and endless two frames. 
Okay, and select this finger for fix this problem. Let's move to here like this. And go to solo. Let's select this pen tool and make mask like this. And open mask one and click inverted. Now let's make smoothly mask like this. Okay, let's unsolo. Nice, let's click session tool, select finger, move to here. Okay, not bad. Let's move to left lady bit. Okay, it works. And select this hand layer and press R, hold Alt, click rotation, and right here we go 1, 6. Okay, not bad. And back to main composition, let's see. Okay, that's good. And let's open composition 2 and go to pen tool. Let's create shape layer like this. Okay, click session 2, go to fill, use this color. Click OK. And move to behind of hand layer and link to hand layer. And go to pen tool, select this point, move up. Okay. And let's move to down a little bit and press S. Let's write 6. Okay, so in this time, let's go to first second, press T, change opacity 0, create opacity keyframe, and go to here, change 100. And move to right. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments, have a good day.